All right, and welcome back to uh, video number two uh, of chapter uh, chapter six. We're looking uh, at uh, in this particular module, we're looking at uh, data tables and more specifically one and two variable data tables. Uh, so one of the key components of, of what if analysis, what we're working through in this particular chapter, is is kind of looking to see how various variables. Uh, and changes in variables can kind of impact certain numbers uh, and output. Uh, and so in this particular video, what we're going to focus on is one variable tables and two variable tables to see how um, changing of one uh, or two of the, uh, uh, the values, um, how that impacts numbers across the board in terms of uh, some of your other calculations. So this, this one variable table and two variable <clears throat> table gives you kind of a glimpse of of, of what would happen if you change those those up. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking into consideration and, uh, some substitution values, which are basically uh, substitution values a value that replaces another variable or another uh, original input value to basically give you uh, again that um, that that impact analysis to see of what what that change does. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to do a, we're going to work with a one variable table. Uh, we're going to look at how our commission rate in this particular scenario uh, affects uh, some of our other uh, some of our other information. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is across the uh, this first column, uh, or I'm sorry, this first row here, I'm going to actually input uh, my values for my original and make sure again that you reference. your range names correctly. So income tax is there. And moving over into yeah, we're gonna get income. Alright, and in this particular scenario what we're going to be working with is we're going to be looking at to see how the commission rate is going to impact our gross commission or income tax uh, and our net income. So I'm going to Start with changing our um, changing our income. Uh, I'm sorry, our commission rate, and make sure that you have that reflected correctly. We're going to increment our in, uh, our uh, commission rate by a half a percent. So again, make sure that you do that. Now, one shortcut I want to show is you can actually do a, a, a series fill. Um, if you normally, if you remember, we did a we did a series fill where we were dealing with uh, just doing a, a simple drag and drop um, through that method. I want to show you a different uh, method. You can click fill, go to series. That's going to be under the home tab. Again, we're going to be doing a series fill for columns, and our step value or increment value is going to be a half a percent. And for this particular uh, scenario, we're only going to see what uh, 6.5 percent, the max. So you put in your step value and your stop value. Your step value is your incremental value. Your stop value is at what value you want to go ahead and um, stop the incrementation at. So you click OK, and you notice it incremented a half a percent all the way down to six and a half percent based off the information that we gave. So I've entered in my initial values here from my ranges. And I've got those values in there. Uh, now the next thing that you want to do is to uh, apply that what if analysis. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your range, your table. So I've got from the commission percentage field here all the way over to net income all the way down. Click what if analysis. I'm going to go down to data table, and essentially what that's going to give me is it's going to give me a data table of what substitution values I want to put in here, or I want to apply. So we're looking at commission right here. Commission right is over here under this column, so we're going to change our column input. Okay, and our column input, we're going to say we're going to reference the original value, so we're going to reference that 2%, and essentially what that's going to do is 
it's going to take that reference of 2%. It's going to then now substitute 2.5%, 3.0% for all these calculations we created down here. And we click OK. And what that is going to do now is, if you see in the table, it has now created um, this matrix of values in here. We'll kind of explain that. But what I want to do first is I want to go in here and I want to change up my format so we can get it in a nice readable format. So what it did is it, it, if we changed our commission percentage to 0.5%, it then went ahead and, and calculated based off this $125,000 in sales uh, what 2.5% would be for a gross commission. Our income tax is not going to change because that 4% again is based off of the $125,000. Uh, but our, our net income is going to change um, due to the increase in the uh, commission percentage. So again, that one variable, uh, the one variable uh, modification uh, or substitution of the commission, the new commission percentage value of 2.5, 3.0%, all the way down to 6.5, gives us a breakdown of what the gross commission would be at that, at those junctures or at those those levels, and it gives us kind of this impact analysis of what that would have on our gross commission. Um, for monthly sales, income tax. In this particular scenario, we don't have an, uh, an impact in income tax, but we do have uh, an impact in that income based off the calculation of our monthly sales minus those commission and our income tax being uh, calculated here. So again, that gives you kind of that matrix look of how one variable impacts. That's a one variable table uh, in terms of uh, uh, how that what if analysis comes into uh, comes into play. So for the, uh, the our next scenario, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at uh, what impact uh, a two variable uh, a two variable data table comes into play. So in this particular scenario, what you want to do first is you want to focus in um, exactly on what your um, what your impact uh, to your your monthly sales would be. Well, let's look at net income. Um, so what we're going to do is in this top left of the table, we're going to put in our net income. We're going to see what our impact is going to be for that. And again, we're going to look at what our commission rate change is going to be. So again, 2.5%. And again, we need to go back in here and make sure that we create, uh, modify our, our percentages, uh, our data as we as we need to have in reference. And for this particular scenario, um, again, I want to go ahead and see. I want to do a fill, a series fill in here, um, and then I'm going to take this from uh, increment this again by 0.5%. And I'm going to stop at 6.5 again. And I missed my selection piece. Uh, when I selected series, I wanted uh, to select columns and not rows. So again, make sure that you select the right criteria. Because that does impact which way it goes. Click OK. So on the left side here, and actually, uh, I want to take that down seven percent. Zero percent. We click OK, and again, make sure select that properly. All right. And uh, what we're going to do then um, over across the top here is we're going to change up our tax rate. So we're going to see what a uh, what a, a tax rate uh, increase is going to have on us as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our fill Zero percent, uh, and I'm going to do a fill 
again, series. This time we're going to go rows. And we're going to do increment it into 1% um, values. We're going to stop at 7%. So again, that's going to populate. Um, that's going to populate that information here. So now for a two variable, you select your entire table. We're going to go up to data with what if analysis, data table. For a column input, again, we're going to select the commission rate. For our row input, we're going to select the tax rate. Hit enter. Now we're going to modify this data based off of the change in the commission rate and in the tax rate. When we click OK, it's going to then, for our monthly sales and our net income, it's going to go in here and it's going to make a what if analysis where it's going to give us a representation of what our, our net sales, or I'm sorry, our net income would be uh, based off of a change in both commission percentage as well as a tax rate. So you again you can kind of get in, uh, a detailed analysis of what your net income would be if you were to increase uh, your commission percentage for sales based off of um, any one of these levels and if you have an in, uh, a corresponding um, tax rate increase uh, you can also see exactly what those impacts would be in conjunction with the commission rate increase, uh, what, what your what your net sale. Is. So again, these are what one variable and and two variable uh, tables do. They kind of provide that um, if one factor or one component of your your calculation changes, it gives you uh, areas that impact that. Uh, whereas a two a two variable table again gives you the ability to substitute key changes into your original input values without having to go through and do um, all the various uh, computations. So again, we'll go over more of this in class, um, on uh, in our next class, uh, but again, I wanted to kind of provide a quick run through. Also reference your, your textbook um, for any questions relating uh, to that. And again, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and email me at ryanfree at ppcc.edu.